Hi everyone, my name is Martin from Martin Chung Photography and today I'm going to do a review of the new SanDisk 170 megabytes a second Extreme Pro SD cards. Okay, so first of all I have to say that I've always been a very big SanDisk fan. Most of our SD cards are from SanDisk and I've always found them to be incredibly reliable. They're probably, um, um, they're probably one of the most popular cards on the market as well and every time uh, online if you see a videographer or a photographer ask for recommendations you'll soon see SanDisk being mentioned. If you're looking for a UHS-1 card I've also found that the Extreme Pros are probably the quickest I've used both in terms of read speed as well as the write speed but for photographers it's arguably more important that the write speed is the quickest and I've always found um, the Extreme Pros also give you one of the best write speeds as well unlike some of the other brands which let's say let's be honest they're a little bit optimistic with what they're claiming. That all being said um, about Two years ago I switched over to the Sony A9 for wedding photography and I found that since switching over to Sony, write speed of the SD cards is less of an issue because the buffers are just so good on this camera. However, one side effect is that now I'm shooting with the A9, I take a lot more frames at each wedding. And this means when I get home, I need to back all my images up onto my computer and it's taking a lot longer to copy those files over to the computer. So that's why when I saw SanDisk had released the 170 megabytes a second cards and more importantly, the price isn't a massive difference between the 95 megabytes um, and the new one, I was very, very interested. I mean, in theory, I'm going to get nearly double the read speed and that will help me copy files over to the computer much quicker. Now, I know some of you might be shouting, well, don't spray and pray then. And, you know, that's, that's fine as an opinion. You know, you shoot the way you want to shoot. I shoot the way I want to shoot. This video really isn't about extolling the virtues of how best to shoot. It's just that I wanted to speed up how long it takes me to copy everything over. So I ordered two of these cards from Amazon and I'm going to put the link below to help you find them in case, um, you know, to make life simpler for you. Um, the very next day, thanks to Amazon Prime, the cards were due to arrive. And it was at this point I was talking to my good friend Greg from TP Photography and he happened to mention that the UHS-1 speeds are limited to 104 megabytes a second. So SanDisk have to have used some proprietary technology to get the faster 170 megabytes a second read speed. So when it arrived, the first thing I did was look at the back of the box and I've got one here. Okay, and sure enough, you do see in very small print at the top here that, you know, SanDisk do say that to get the faster speeds, you need to use a compatible device capable of reaching such speeds. Now, there certainly was no mention of this on the Amazon page that I could see. So I then went on to the SanDisk website and sure enough, there's a little asterisk next to the claimed read speed. So having a look around, I managed to find on the website the card reader that they recommended that would give me this faster read speed. And since it was only 12 pounds, I ordered one of those as well. So I had to wait another day for Amazon to do their thing. And this is it, this one here. Now, first of all, I have to say that for £12, you know, this USB reader was all right. It's a little bit plasticky, but for £12, it's fair enough. Again, I'll put another link in the box below so you can easily find it. Whoops, nearly dropped it. The one thing I will mention is that it is quite stiff to push the card into the slot. So please, please, please be careful. Don't push the card in too hard or you do risk um, snapping your card. Slow and steady definitely wins the day in this occasion. So what we're going to do in a moment is we're going to put the card through a couple of tests and then compare those to the original 95 megabytes a second cards as well. Okay, so for this test, we're going to use the Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test and connected to my USB hub is the SanDisk um, SD card reader. And for the first test, we're going to use the original SanDisk Extreme Pro 95 megabytes a second, 128 gigabyte card. 
So I've selected it already. Let's click on start and see what sort of speeds we're getting. So as you can see, we're getting about 85, just over 85 megabytes a second, which, as I mentioned before, um, the rated speed, um, at least for read speed, is 95 megabytes a second. And the read speed is over 92.5. So, you know, very, very close to the advertised speeds. Um, SanDisk is pretty good for advertising, you know, good speeds rather than some, which let's just say they're exaggerating. Okay, so I think we've done enough there. So I'm going to stop the test and we're going to repeat it in a moment with the new card. Okay, so um, we've swapped cards now and I've selected it again and let's do the same test again. See what happens. Okay, so as you can see, the write speed has actually increased to 97 megabytes a second and we're getting 164 can we go any faster than that so you're getting about 164 megabytes a second so we are seeing um a, a quite a significant speed increase in both read and also surprisingly on the write speed as well now bear in mind though that these are only using the sandisk reader so what we're going to do in a moment is we're going to use the internal card reader on the iMac and let's see what happens when we're not using the proprietary SanDisk reader. Okay, so now we're going to use the internal Mac reader. This is using the SanDisk Extreme Pro 95 megabytes a second card. And as you can see, that's still pretty respectable, 79.4. Uh, and let's see what the read speed is, 90.1, 91, let's call it. Yeah, okay. So let's try it with the other card. Okay, so now we've got installed the 170 megabytes a second card. Let's see what how fast it works in you know a, a, a normal slot, not the not using the proprietary SanDisk reader. OK, so as we can see, the performance is slightly less on the internal reader. Um, we're seeing 74.4 write speed and just short of 90 on the read speed. So it is a little bit, but it's not anything that I'd be overly worried about. OK, so. As you can see from the test, the new cards do get very, very close to the 170 megabytes a second read speed that they're claiming. Um, of course, for me personally, this is great news. Um, although it did mean I had to buy at least um, one card reader and I'll probably get one more so I can transfer you know, two SD cards at the same time. As you can see from the test, the write speeds haven't changed massively. So I wouldn't necessarily tell you to go and rush out and um, replace your 95 megabytes of card um, if you you know uh, are interested in write speed or if you've got no problems with copying files over at the moment it's just a shame that sandis needed this proprietary usb reader but uh, and, and this fact could have been made um, a bit clearer however one of the things i do like is that obviously it is much faster um, but at the same time the cost is only a little bit more unlike the UHS-2 cards, which obviously are quicker to both read and write, but the costs um, are massively higher. Um, and I found these the, the cost of UHS-2 cards at the moment to be a bit too much, um, especially on my Sony camera, where I've only really got one slot for UHS-2, so you know I'm, not, I'm still gonna have to buy a UHS-1 card anyway. 
um, and the buffer, like I've mentioned already, is so good that you know if I have to wait a few more seconds for the buffer to clear, I don't really notice it when I'm shooting a wedding. Um, what I like about these new cards is that they are very cost effective. Um, you know, they're great value for money in my opinion. You know, the, the, the price difference between these and the 95 megabytes is, is very modest. Um, so for me personally, I think in future, these are the ones I'll probably buy. Um, I'm not going to get rid of my older cards straight away. In fact, I'm probably not going to get rid of them at all. But I'll probably, as I need more cards, I'll probably buy these ones instead. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment and question below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on the subscribe button and watch out for more of my videos. Thank you for watching.